Hello, welcome to Area Food Pesting. Glad you can join me tonight. So I'm back at the farm rats again, a week later. So this is one of four rats that I shot tonight. Unfortunately, there weren't that many tonight. I guess they were hiding. So this guy was on the move. As you can see, he would just keep coming closer and closer. And finally he stopped and I squeezed off a shot to his neck. So the Haiti 16 grain uh, continued to hit them really hard. This guy was at 16 yards. What I find is when they get hit by the Hades, they tend to just die on the spot without running away. Definitely a quiet night. As I said, there's only four rats that I shot all night. So here I saw one sticking his head out from the side of the building. And it was about 18 yards away. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to stick his head out a bit further. That way I have a better target to shoot at. There it is. Squeeze off a shot, hit him right in the head. As you can see, his tail is wagging there. So died instantly with the headshot. I later collected uh, his body from the hole. And this guy turned out to be the one of the larger one. So here's a bad timing for this guy. He came out. Just as he did, I squeezed off a shot right in the body. And again, the Hades just tagged him right in the heart and lung shot. And that was rat number three. Now he's doing the death twitch. And it quickly expired. Another victim claimed by the Hades. So I saw one running under the plank here. Yeah, I'm trying to locate it, try to find it. Unfortunately, it isn't to be found. Luckily, one popped out, out of the wall, and I range in is about 12 yards away. Unfortunately, I forgot what my holdover point was. Guess a bit of a brain fart there. Anyway, I lost my opportunity there as it disappeared behind the wall. I'm just waiting and scanning around to hopefully see another rats perhaps. And luckily, one came down. So this might be the one that was sticking his head out from the wall. So here I was waiting for a clear headshot. I could have easily taken a body shot and kill it, but wasn't much happening tonight. So it seems like he wasn't in a hurry. So I was hoping just to practice for a headshot. And then I was hoping that he would uh, start eating the dead rat to see some kind of a cannibalism. Unfortunately, it didn't. And it proceeded to uh, hop away. So I panic and decided to just uh, shoot him before he ran away. Anyway, so that was a spine shot. As you can tell, the lower half of the body was completely gone. As it paused, I did a quick follow-up shot shot him the lung shot and that pin it right there so I'm pretty happy with that so that was the only four rats that I collected for tonight so not much uh, for the coyote to eat so here are the footages from the one leaf NV200 the spotter scope this was rat number one the camera was set to my right hand side you can see here I got the crosshair on it with my uh, Power 008 on top of the HW100. So this spotter was definitely very handy to use as I didn't have to uh, look through my scope. I am just testing out the brightness of the infrared. This was at setting number two. And I click one, that's setting three, four, five six and seven so it doesn't appear to be too much of a difference because the distance was uh, short that's only 50 yards to the back of the wall so here's a uh, rat number two unfortunately the infrared was bouncing off the wall so you got a bit of a whitewash as you can tell that you can see the tail there so I spotted this one here on the ledge and by the time I grabbed my gun and tried to get ready, it was gone. So definitely a missed opportunity. So very difficult to film and shoot at the same time. So now this guy was rat number three. I was able to get my HW100 ready. And shot him right in the, the lung and it fell around the spot, struggled a bit, twitch and died.
So here I was using the MV200 to scan to my right hand side, handheld. But as you can see, the image is pretty clear and crisp. Definitely able to spot anything, rats or whatever, in the dark. Unfortunately, not too many rats were out this evening. Maybe their population has uh, decreased. But I'm sure the number will go up again someday. As I will be well prepared and be ready for them. Shoot them rats one at a time with my Hades. So here was rat number four, the last shot of the night. As you can see, I just shot him in the spine. He dragged his legs around and I quickly follow it, track it. Squeeze off a second shot. Finish my job. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope I see you in the next one. Cheers.